everyone. Welcome back to the channel. I am Vanderhorst, your host, bringing you another awesome react, along with my awesome good buddy Josh here. Hey, how are y'all? Yes. Yeah, you it's ready? good to see y'all again. This... I am glad to be back. Remember, if you are new, hit that subscriber button as we are growing every day. Thank you guys so much. We are about to smash. Smash. And I mean smash through the 7,500 subscriber wall. You guys are absolutely incredible. And at this rate, we really could hit 10K by the end of November. So from this moment on, we are setting a goal, right? 10K. Let's, 10K. 10K. Let's see if we can hit it. I love you guys. Let's go ahead and get to the video. This is Juna's Rising Force by Inway Malmsteen, one of my favorite guitars of all time. This guy, if you haven't seen his Black Star Orchestra, you need to go see it with the Japanese Philharmonic Orchestra. Just absolutely great show. So I'm going to shut up now, and we're going to go ahead and get into it. Hope you guys enjoy. This is a great song, by the way. Jeez, she didn't afraid to hit those drums. Power. <laughs> oh wow. That was a fucking good oh, roll. That was so nice. Jeez. Hey, she just has so much power. Uh, this is awesome. Making it look effortless. <laughs> Oh, that's such a good roll. <laughs> like you said, so much power. and how hard she plays. That's amazing. I'm completely drawn in right now. If y'all can't tell, I'm trying not to talk. Oh, that was so good. It's absolutely killing it. Oh man. <laughs> 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 
Wow. That was amazing. Holy moly. Wow. Woo. There's a part in this that I really want to break down. And um, going back to a couple of the uh, older reacts that we've done, just how good can you make the subdivisions of your song? Exactly how good can you get? There were so many ghost notes. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So many little notes she threw in there. It's crazy. And it's interesting to see her to be able to play this fast and to keep it as clean and accurate as she is. That, to me, is the most impressive thing that she brings to the table, period. Yeah, 100%. And then to top that all off with so much power. Oh, yeah. Oh she hits goodness. it like a dude. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, she hits it like Juna. Oh, my God. Powerful, powerful indeed. By far one of the most powerful drummers I've ever seen. And she makes an acoustic drum kit sound like it's already microphoned up. It's pretty cool to say the least yeah it's like, crazy i'm 99 percent sure that the drums that we're hearing are purely like acoustic i don't see any microphones i think it's just an overhead shotgun mic because uh there's a lot of i don't want to call it hollowness but there's a lot of uh uh a frequency room. from the cymbals when she was hitting them that normally wouldn't be there it would be compressed but this sound it sounds outstanding for what it yeah. is. Oh yeah, it's amazing. It's yeah. Amazing. Studio Out studio room. Yeah. Oh yeah, without a doubt. We definitely got it right. So that's one of the main reasons I love Juna. She she makes do with what she's got. And shout out to her cinematographer for whoever cut and edit all of this with the live footage and this. Yeah, that was a cool touch. That is very, very cool. Very cool indeed. So I wanted to break down this part just real quick. This little drum solo into the guitar solo from 3 minutes 12 seconds. So let's take a gander one real quick. I'm going to be pausing it here. So this is the part where I get to break down some of the things that I really, really, really like because it th this stuff really is absolutely hard to do and it is mind-blowing that she can do it so well and over and over, multiple times in the same song. And, um, you know, cream of the cake. Cream rises to the top, doesn't it, brother? Yes, sir. Yes. So here we go. So right there, right off the bat. Boom, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -da. That right there is already differ different from the four four time that she was keeping with the boom ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. That is our first subdivision going into these rolls. All right. So those rolls are very, very difficult to do because if you're not already planning two or three steps ahead to be able to Boo doo doo doo. Use that as your down note, and then to be able to remember to play the hertas on top of that. That is hard. That is very hard, and that takes a lot of practice. And kudos to Juna for being able to do that. That is amazing. Let's continue. That right there. That's our four four. That that is our bass driving force in the song. And it amazes me that the drummer, whoever originally wrote this song, unless Juna was the one who wrote these parts like this and made this version like this, if yeah, she did I, I outstanding. Would, I, would so. I would assume so. Isn't she a part of this band? No, she's just... not a part of Ingwave's uh, band. He's been around uh, for quite some time okay. now. Yeah. Okay, never mind. Wrong band. It's okay. Uh, she um, does a lot of drum covers. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, nice. Yeah, drum cover. Yeah. Yeah. So I wonder if she does get to put her own spins on some of these, too. Or if she, when she does a cover, she uploads it to her record label and they give her a copyright yeah, ID know. to be able to she do She probably this. just puts her in We know. should figure that out. I don't know. <laughs> Let us know. Let us know in the comments if you have any idea how that works. So I want to point out that that, that sort of boom, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da, that's pretty hard. That right there comes purely from the hip flexor muscle and raising your knees and being able to kind of sit forward with your back, not bowed, but like very straight. You have to like prop yourself up and to be able to kind of like gyrate your hips back and forth to be able to play like that in time. And not to mention for an entire four and a half minute song. Yeah, think about it. Like she could definitely run. Like a full mile if she wanted. That's pretty that's pretty much essentially what it is when you play a song like this, honestly. Yeah, 100 percent It's like running a couple of miles. Yeah. It's unbelievable. Yeah. 
I love that so much because every part of her body is playing something different. Every a, a different subdivision. The hand do 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 do, and then the feet just do do da do do do. Just keeping everything in time. How many different independent subdivisions can you make, and how creative can you be? That is the question, everyone. Do you have something to say? No. no oh, okay, okay. And also, another thing that's really important is when to know when to hit a symbol. Like, what are you trying to accent? Why are you hitting the symbol? What does it mean in this part of the song? Why are you hitting the symbol? What are you trying to accent? That's the biggest question you have to answer. And what I love about Juno so much is that there is, that there is no wasted energy and there's no wasted movement, no nothing. It's perfect. Nothing. She perfectly is, executed. With so much power, too. Yes. Every time throughout the whole song, it's like she has more power by the end of the song and when she did, when she started, it's magical. I love it. Let's break that down. <laughs> because oh, that was too different. Slide. That was two different drum rolls there. So that was a... All right. But there was a lot more in there because there was an extra snare roll. If you back it up. Oh, not quite enough. Sorry about that. One more time. There we go. Yeah, see? That snare roll brings you back in. It's signaling the band. Okay, we're back. We're back. A little sneaky snare. She sneaky, threw in there. sneaky. Gotta love it, though. So those hertas are pretty hard. I talk about them on drum live stream a lot. That brr, 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 brr. That's really, really difficult. I guarantee you she practiced those millions of times. Oh, yeah. To be able to just execute that right. Because like I said, you're going from two... That's two different downbeats. That is a snare hand beat ba -da -da, ba -da -da, ba -da -da, to a drum roll of a two snare to the toms. Brr, brr. That's a lot harder to do than you think because that's two different parts of your brain. That's two different parts of your brain. I just, I just noticed the China, <laughs> the China symbol in the background. Nice, nice. I love that thing, like a big old trash can lid. Mm. Remember what symbols? Why are you trying to accent things? This is perfect execution, everyone. Textbook. Take notes. Yeah, she doesn't even have a whole lot of symbols either. She's only got, what, five? Four, yeah. Four a ride, the... two crash, hi-hats, and a china. You're right, five. Perfect. That's all you need. Some Look, ladies and gentlemen, sometimes less is more. I'm going to back this guitar up so we can listen to it one more time because I know that we're going to catch some plaque from that. <laughs> That's Ingway for you. That's what he does. And the sticks just go flying. I love it. I love it. Yeah, that was I dope. Love that was it. a dope guitar solo right there, too. Yes. That's, that was actually the first time I've ever heard that Ying Wei song, let alone this Juno cover. So that was really cool. So thank you, everybody, for tuning in for this one. This one was awesome. Yeah, it was. That was really cool. Yeah, definitely. Sorry it's been long, so long since we have done a directly Juna one. I believe we did a Trident uh, one not too long ago that had Juna as the drummer and then the next song that we did by Trident had a different drummer But I said that was Juna. My apologies for getting that wrong Thank you for letting us know down in the comments But what I really appreciate about getting to do these reacts the most is getting to confer with you all the most You all have so much information about these artists and I love learning and to be able to take my own little notes and to Understand that this artist has been in this band and this band had this artist also, you know And just to learn how this is all connected. You guys are awesome. I really appreciate that you got anything? No, hell no. Just outstanding job all together. Just wordless. Great, great. Just speechless. My man is great speechless. Video. Speechless. That's how amazing Gina really is. <laughs> yeah. and that's how awesome you all yeah. are. So, so technical. So good. Yes. So good. Yes. And Crazy. if you have tuned into the channel recently, you have noticed a few changes made. We now have an official, official launched Patreon. And you can find it in a link that is in the channel banner of the YouTube channel. Okay. And if you want, you can also go and look for it. It is actually patreon.com slash inleftwitch00. But the link is there. Look for it. You guys are amazing. We have other stuff that we're, you know, carrying on. Amazon merch still. Yep. About to put out some new music. About to put out some new music. Yes, That's sir. right. On the way. It That's right. On the way. I love you guys. You guys are awesome. And you guys are the motivation for us to keep going because you all 
keep watching. There are a million things that you guys could be doing, and yet you choose to have us in your living room with every video. So from us to you, we thank you so much. Thank you very much. And until next time, we'll see you later. Bye.